friendship that'll never ever end. I feel like Abby the Witch is the most talked about and theorised about puppet from the Firefly Funhouse. I think I get so many DMs every single day asking me about Abby. And I think it's because she takes on the form of a human. Whereas you've got a rabbit, a buzzard and a pig and a devil. This is a proper human being. And you can look at Abby the Witch and say she looks like this person. She sounds like that person. Well that's fun to do. And we may talk about it a little bit later on. I don't want to focus on the puppet. I want to look at Sister Abigail herself, the presence, the entity of the once beloved mentor to Bray Wyatt. And I say that like that because we don't know. And although we've heard about her for years, there's so many unanswered questions about Sister Abigail. But before we get really into the nitty gritty of the video, I need to ask you guys, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Now to start with, we need to go back to the beginning. Now this isn't the very beginning, but it's what we now know as the Man in the Woods promo. The superstar ghost stories from Bray Wyatt. And in it, he says an interesting line that Abigail rescued Bray and his brothers and sisters. Now, I like that one key word, rescued. They didn't follow Abigail. They wasn't forced to go with Abigail. She rescued them. But what was it that she rescued Bray and his brothers and sisters from? Well, I like this because I'm trying to merge as many theories into this video as physically possible. And now we look at a tweet from Carl Scarborough and this image of a child wearing a mask of the fiend. Now, we know from Superstar Ghost Stories that Bray was the man in the woods. He was the fiend. So... All that time ago, he would have had the Mask of the Fiend. It makes sense. And Sister Abigail identified Bray as the man in the woods. Now, at the time, in that promo, he wasn't called the Fiend. And I think we'll get to that later on. It's very interesting and something to take note of. Now, we know that they was living, hiding out, whatever way... In a cabin in the woods. Again, another picture tweeted out by Carl Scarborough. And I love this because I think what Kyle is doing, what the cult of Wyndham is doing, is reproducing the story of Bray's childhood. And of course, Sister Abigail played a massive part in that story. She was there as the mentor to Bray Wyatt to rescue him from something. Now we need to fast forward... She led us with love. To the point we discover that Abigail didn't just take these children and rescue them, she loved them. And Bray was a happy child, I suppose. Although, he was demonic. He was evil within. And there was nothing suppressing that evilness. And we discovered that. And I was there. I was there when she took her final breath. Bray was there. In the cabin in the woods. The place that Sister Abigail died. And not only that, but Bray was there. So, is it not plausible that Bray Wyatt had a little wobble? The fiend emerged and the fiend killed Sister Abigail? I think it could actually be. I mean, you look at the definition of the term fiend. A fiend is a personal monster who has evil plans in their mind. The old English root word for fiend translates to an enemy. The devil, a demon. And we are going to focus on that. An enemy, the devil, a demon. We know that the fiend is a demon. We know he's a devil. Look at what he did to Cena in the Firefly Funhouse. And just maybe, he's the enemy of Abigail. Hence why he was given the name, The Fiend. Maybe that's not his name at all. And maybe we'll explore that in a little bit, because I think we already know the name of The Fiend. But once Abigail died, she suppressed her spirit, her presence, her entity within Bray Wyatt. Of course, we can see in another picture here from Kyle Scarborough, that very clearly, Abigail is emerging from the head of Bray. 
She is suppressing the demons underneath. The fiend is trying to emerge. The demon, the devil, is inside Bray. And they're trying to emerge, but she is suppressing them. She is controlling Bray Wyatt. But what actually happened to Sister Abigail? She did suppress her spirit within Bray's. That's the theory anyway. So why is now the fiend able to emerge? Well, it's a widely accepted theory that Bray Wyatt went into the Lake of Reincarnation during Ultimate Deletion and Sister Abigail was erased from Bray Wyatt. Now, some people will say that Bray resurrected back to his childhood where we know the fiend was, but we do have proof. Abigail don't live here no more. Bray himself has told us that Abigail doesn't live here now. Now, that was actually after the ultimate deletion when him and Matt Hardy were tag team partners. Wiley pointed to his head and confirmed Abby's no longer there. So the theory that this picture represents Sister Abigail being in Bray's head is quite a plausible one now. But it does raise another question. Why does it have one half normal face and one half a horrible mutated face. Well, we can answer that in a bit, but first... To me, Abigail was a delicious poison. An intoxicating, overwhelming poison. You may think that's Bray Wyatt talking, because that's who you see, right? But Abby's not there anymore. So we actually now know that that was the fiend emerging and talking on behalf of Bray. Hell, every promo that Bray Wyatt's done leading up to that, he's loved Abby. Abby's been this mentor. Abby's shining the light to show Bray Wyatt the way. She's providing knowledge, and he loves her. Until she's no longer there, because she was in his head, and she loved herself. Now, we can look at another character in wrestling, Matt Hardy, because his story and the Bray Wyatt story are so much intertwined, we get a lot of answers for about Abigail from Matt. Now, Matt has posted the broken Matt Hardy story, and it's definitely worth a read, but to summarise it, he had Zenith that lived within him. It was an essence that after he became broken, that he was able to tap into and basically discover his past lives as Zenith. Now, Zenith died at the hands of Kennigan, and of course... That meant that Matt Hardy was trying to free his delete and eventually he turned into Damascus. So we know that these essences and these spirits can leave people's vessels and the vessel can get a new entity. So Abigail leaving Bray doesn't seem very far-fetched. In fact, it's kind of been proved. Samael and my essence, Zenith, have been together since the Genesis. And now, Samael is no longer suppressed by Abigail. Abigail has been purged. So we started off with the Bray Wyatt we all know and we all once loved. But we really didn't know what was going on at the time. And then it became apparent that Abigail was within him and he could call on her for knowledge and power. But when she got burned away, it left the fiend. Also known to us now from that promo as Samael. Now that kind of does indicate that Samael is an enemy of Abigail, hence why the name The Fiend He's a devil. He's a demon. And because he killed Abigail, he became an enemy. I really like that idea. It's kind of cool. Now, again, from Matt Hardy, we know that Kennigan has always held dominion over Abomination. Now, Kennigan is another name for Vince McMahon. And Abomination and Abscess were other names for Sister Abigail. And I think this takes us back a little bit, saying that Vince McMahon doesn't want Sister Abigail on the WWE roster. Well, we've got Abby the Witch now. And I think it's plausible it could happen. You look at the other Firefly Funhouse puppets and what they represent. Rambling Rabbit 
is the critics, hence they never go away, meaning Rambling Rabbit never dies. Huskus the Pig Boy is Husky Harris, Mercy the Buzzard, Waylon Mercy, the person who helped Bray Wyatt develop the character of Bray Wyatt, and Abby the Witch obviously represents Sister Abigail, but we have heard and we do know she is in limbo. And li we always wondered what limbo actually meant. Well, once again, looking at those intertwined stories, we may already know. Because Matt Hardy's vessel was in limbo. After Zenith died, the vessel of Matt was in limbo. I think waiting for another entity, another deity to come and give Matt more power, more strength. Hence, he got Damascus and limbo is gone. So now let's do a little bit of fantasy booking. What could that mean? It does, I think, mean that we could see Abigail properly on the WWE roster. Now, I like the idea because we know that Abigail still exists. We know she does. Abomination is powerful. Now, when you think about booking Abigail on the main roster, it's easy to look at the women's division and say, OK, this person, that person, this person, that person should portray Abigail because they look like her. They sound like her. Their mannerisms could be like her. It could be because they potentially could get a boost in their career. But we're forgetting one thing here. Sister Abigail doesn't have to be female. We've already seen her be portrayed by a male. We just accepted the fact that she is within the mind of Bray Wyatt. Or she was in the mind of Bray Wyatt. So why would she not take over another man? It's possible. And the fact that her face is so disfigured is because of that constant battle with the demon, the devil. To basically try and keep Bray safe. Hence why she's called Abomination. Honestly, these two stories between Matt and Bray are perfectly placed because it gives us the opportunity to look deeper into Abigail and what her character actually means. Basically, if Abigail was there today and she saw The Fiend and Bray Wyatt and she realised that Samael had taken over Bray, well, she wouldn't be too happy because she loves Bray. And she wants Bray to be happy and live a normal life. But Samael doesn't want that. So you could potentially debut Abigail as a potential rival to the Fiend. Get where I'm going now? She could potentially be a manager for one of the brothers or sisters of Bray Wyatt, Bo Dallas. And Bo Dallas could potentially then rival the Fiend. I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it. I know some people will be automatically saying, well, Bo would never beat The Fiend. But with Abigail's help, maybe she, he could. Hell, maybe Bo could be Abigail. We just said that Abigail could be played by a man. Why not Brother Bo? You could even change the name to Abogail. Oh, my God. That's so good. I should be in the WWE creative team. Abogail versus Samael. And eventually, Abigail wins. Bray Wyatt comes back. She's already suppressed the fiend once. She could do it again. And of course, you could then book a future tag team between Bo and Bray. The future could be quite bright. It started with love in a cabin in the woods. A demonic child acting out of pure anger and instinct. Heard in the one thing who loved him most. But she didn't leave him. She guided him until the point she was left in limbo. And then the pure disappointment that Samael overtook Bray could lead Abigail back to baby Bray once again. Now I really like that theory. I think Bray and the Fiend and Abigail are all intertwined. Whether Samael is the Fiend, I don't know. But I think it's interesting to put a name to the Fiend and explore why he has the name Fiend. And maybe the reason is Abigail. Well, let me know your thoughts, as you always do, in the comments section down below. Please make sure you like the video. It does help it rank up on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel 
if you are new. And consider turning on notifications. You can follow me on Twitter at C Wrestling UK. I will as always see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.